Well, hey guys, it's Viejo here, and we are right at the end of October in 2023. We've got Halloween coming up. Been having cooler nights and clear, crisp mornings here on the central coast of California. I'm 42 when I got up this morning before sunup. Anyway, um, it's uh, Moldy Monday. This is episode number 35, and what I've got for you today is actually a Seiko mold, even though it's in a Lyman box here. I got this mold used, um, and it did not come with the original box, so I got uh, got it in one of these uh, Lyman boxes that we can get from Midway or whatever your supplier is. They're very handy for storing your molds in. This is the Seiko number 69, and it is a clone of the Hensley & Gibbs uh, number 68. Seiko makes a number 68 mold, which I also have, but that one is a bevel base. This one's a plain base, and that's really the only difference. Casts uh, approximately a 200 grain bullet um, semi-wad cutter for 45 ACP. So that's what we're going to work with today. Um, here's what the bullet looks like. Okay. okay, This is it right here. Okay, good looking bullet. Okay, it did a good job um, out of that mold. And if you're uh, watching on YouTube, you know that I'm not going to show you the mold um, or any of the casting sequences. I've just gotten in too much trouble for doing that. So um, if you want to see all of that, you know, um, what I do here, if you, if you haven't seen any of it over on Rumble yet, is I take these molds all apart, show you all the guts, take a look at the hardware required um, to make the mold work, what tools you're going to need to make the adjustments, all that stuff we cover, but it's all over on the Rumble channel. So you go to rumble.com, type in my username, which is just Walter Bunning, just like that, and you'll find it. Um, probably if you typed in hashtag Moldy Monday all run together, um, you'd come up with it also. Um, at any rate, um, for those of you who are on Rumble, let's jump right into the... Uh, uh, guts of the mold, take it all apart, take a look at it. We'll look at our exploded view. Um, if you're on YouTube, we're going to take you to the kind of the end of the casting session, pulling them out of the oven from the powder coat, and uh, take a look at the metrics page that I always show. And then I did a little bit of shooting on this one too. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, jump to the next part. All right, these are the Seiko number 69 for 45 ACP. And those are powder coated with a blend of 5050 Prismatics Yeti White and Eastwood Aqua Blue. I call this bird's egg. Here's the data for the Seiko number 69. It came out at uh, 203 grains with the alloy that we're using today. Both cavities measured exactly 0.451, so that was good. Mold ran well at 700 degrees indicated on the Lyman pot with Viejo number one alloy. If you recall, that's about a 95.32 range scrap plus a little tin, okay? Overall length 0.629 and from the base up to the shoulder 0.433. Okay, we got some of these guys loaded up, ready to go to the range. We got these loaded over some Vitivuri N320 powder using mixed brass and uh, Winchester primers. Okay, for the uh, shooting, we used the uh, Springfield TRP operator. Okay, the really nice handgun. Okay, full barrel. Um, it's got a captured guide rod in it. I'm not real fond of that, but it, it does hold things together pretty well. Had some custom sights on it. I bought this guy secondhand too. Anyway, it's a good shooter. So I shot one mag full uh, on, on video for you to take a look at it. Shot real well. Um, I dropped one, but I kind of always do that, it seems like. But anyway, the rest of them were all, were all in there pretty well. So let's go take a look at that. Oh, it didn't even have a cylinder ring on it when I bought it. A cylinder what? You know, where it rubs on the cylinder. Oh! I, I don't oh. think the thing has been shot part of it. It was a... <laughs> the widow brought it That. You should give that. Here's our Seiko number 69. Okay, we just drop one down there. 
All right, there it is. Um, the mold ran really well, as the Seiko molds tend to do. It was a, it was a good one. It was a good uh, purchase. I got this mold with handles for less than half the price of a mold, a new mold alone. So it was a good bargain for me. Um, the shooting was okay. It wasn't, you know, super great, but it was as good pretty much as I ever do. So I enjoyed it. Um, turned out to be a decent load uh, for this handgun anyway. It worked real well. Uh, I hope the rest of you got something out of that, you know, and you know, enjoyed it while you're having your coffee in the morning or whatever. Um, but uh, from the Viejo bench for now, that's all she wrote. <laughs>